worth every penny, sneering anti-monarchist skewered after putting royal family down. Anti-monarchists have been skewered for putting down the royal family, which supporters have insisted is worth every penny. With fears abounding over the rising cost of living, critics have questioned the scale of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, which were brought to an end on Sunday with the Queen and her closest family appearing on Buckingham Palace's balcony to thank ginormous crowds of supportive Britons. Russian state television joined in on this theme, describing the celebrations as opulent. A Channel One Russia correspondent, reporting from London, last week suggested the purpose of the Jubilee was only to deflect from domestic problems like Downing Street parties during lockdown and a general decline in living standards. In the wake of questioning overfunding and purpose, pro-monarchists doubled down on their support, insisting the pros were larger than the cons. Writer Bella Wallersteiner argued in a post on Twitter, the cost to the public of the royal family is about £1.50 per year per person. For that, we get non-political ambassadors and trade facilitators, and a tradition that attracts millions of tourists. This, she added, meant the institution was worth every penny. The precise cost of the Jubilee itself remains to be established, though £28 million of taxpayers' money was set aside in the 2021 budget. This equates to around £1 per household. The sum could cover the cost of running the NHS for just two hours, according to the Times. 500 Jubilees would be required in order to pay for the newly opened Elizabeth Line, the paper added. A further £12 million was spent by the Department for Education to send every primary child a commemorative book to mark the occasion. But over large-scale events were privately funded, injuring no additional cost to the taxpayer.